Hello and welcome to another episode, a Holy Week episode of A Time to Go. Yeah, here we are sitting at the foot of the cross in the Vinji Sanctuary as we get ready for a really full Holy Week again this year. Holy Week, I think, represents like everything that it means to be a Christian. All of the faith is kind of wrapped up in these four days that kind of start out at Palm Sunday. Um, it reminds us on a very joyous day, a joyous day of celebration, where the crowds seem to recognize that Jesus is King and worship Him, that, that God is obviously present in those kind of upbeat moments, those glorious moments of worship uh, where we feel like we've, we've got our faith and life put together, and God's there to celebrate those moments with us. Yeah, as the week goes on, though, the days get darker and darker. As we get to Monday, Thursday, there's this sort of theme hanging over the night that uh, something bad is about to happen and Jesus sits down at a table with his disciples and has a meal with them, his last supper. Uh, but it's also a really powerful event where Jesus shows us uh, what God, who is our king, does as a king uh, by kneeling down on his hands and knees and serving his fellow disciples. A reminder that God's love for us isn't one that powers over us, but that takes the form of a servant for us. It's a pretty wonderful thing and something we get to experience every week when we come to this communion table. Yeah, and then we learn on Good Friday that God's love, uh, again, is not found in power, but found in suffering and weakness uh, and humility. Um, we learn the lengths that God because of love is willing to go to that jesus suffers and dies and experiences humiliation and um, when these things happen in our life and they will from time to time we're reminded that because god was with jesus on the cross on good friday god is with us and more than just being with us it also shows us and teaches us that that god has experienced that that god knows what it means to be human even to the point of, of suffering, of, of being humiliated, of being deserted and betrayed, uh, and even death is something that God knows firsthand what that's like. And so God is with us in ways that God never could have been without Jesus coming and experiencing Good Friday. Yeah, this week Pastor Justin and I were talking a bit about how uh, if that was all that God did for us, that would be enough. Enough of a God to believe in that a God is willing to love us enough to suffer right along with us and be with us. Uh, but on Easter Sunday, we get an even greater message that God has one more surprise for us, that God shows up and does something we cannot do for ourselves. Uh, God conquers death once and for all and shows us that life wins, that love wins, that God wins. And so we get that same promise over and over in the midst of all the craziness of our world where death surrounds us. The death does not have the last word, uh, but we get that holy promise of Easter that God's there to meet us on the other side of death and bring us to life everlasting. And so every day that we live after Easter is lived with that Easter hope, that Easter promise, and we hope that regardless of what day you're listening to this, that you're living uh, with the hope of that wonderful promise. Um, we've had a great time journeying through all of these stories with you uh, as part of these little videos. and. Um, because we've, we've reached Easter and we're kind of now living into that post-Easter life with all of that hope, uh, we're going to be taking a little break from some of these videos. And so uh, we hope that you continue to go out and live your life with that Easter hope and doing all those wonderful things that disciples of the risen Christ do. We look forward to seeing you on the other side of Easter, but for now, it's time to go.